Hello, my name is Anne-Marie. A very, very warm welcome to you again this evening. It is wonderful to see you. As always, I've started just a few seconds early just so that everyone can get themselves set up and ready. What we'll be using tonight, uh, your mat, which you always use, something like a head cushion. I quite having my, like having my block on my head cushion. Um, optional, it's just like a yoga strap or waistband from a dressing gown, something like that. Completely optional, if you don't have it, don't panic. If you've got one to hand, great. And another optional kind of a squashy Pilates ball. So I'll give you a couple of minutes if you need to run around and grab anything like that. Don't panic if you don't have it, okay? It's this, you can use a cushion, you can use a ball, you can use nothing. You don't necessarily need it, but I thought it might be nice to have a little play around tonight, and obviously a water if you'd like it. So we're just gonna start the little breathing, 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 while I also give you all the health and safety. So when you're ready, let's just get in a nice neutral position, and we're gonna start with our breathe in. Two, three, four, and hold. Two, three, Ready, fantastic, just relax. If you need to whiz around and grab things, that's fine. Don't panic if you don't have it though, okay? We're here to have a nice calming time. All together, a really good stretch. We've got some lovely stretching planned tonight. Even in the balances. I know you love a balance. I love a balance. Okay. And in, two, three, four, hold. So before we do start, just remember any injuries, just think about what you're doing. Please don't do anything that hurts you. Please don't do anything that puts excess pressure, especially on, on any injuries, anything like that. Just listen to your body. I will try to give you loads and loads of options as we go through. Just listen to your body. You've got no one to compete against tonight. You are just working to make yourself feel really good, strong, and really relaxed. I'm hoping at the end of it as well. Really well stretched out tonight. That's the plan. Okay. So it's always I have my little list of things to do because my memory is atrocious, but that's what keeps us on track. So let's get started with some shoulder rolls. So starting, we'll get a neutral alignment in our very first instance. So bring those feet directly underneath the hips, those pointy bones at the front. Bring them directly under. We're just going to rock forwards and back. Open out the toes. I know we do this every week. I know we do, but it's important. It's important we find neutral. It's important we allow our body just to relax before we make it do the work that we're going to do, because it is hard work sometimes in Pilates classes, aren't they? So it's a bit of a mixture. So we're just allowing our bodies to get into a really fantastic position before we get going. So settling there right down to the floor. Okay, and if it's comfy for you to do so, rolling out and in. Now I'm quite okay in terms of my hips, my ankles, my knees. I can have my feet pointing forwards. If that's good for you too, fantastic. If you need them a little bit pointing out and that's more comfy, that's fine. So working with what feels comfortable for you, but trying to ease towards a neutral, kind of natural position if you can. So allowing that to settle in the middle. So my body weight's right in the middle between kind of big toe, a little toe, and the heel. The body weight's right settled. Moving up through the legs, the knees are nice and soft. So if you find you lock them out, maybe you hyperextend, something like that, just give them a little tiny little bend there. So just nice and soft. So imagine if you are landing on something, just able to absorb that impact really nicely. Okay, coming up through to the hips. Imagine that bowl of water in your pelvis. You're gonna tuck under and over. Under and over. Wonderful. So you're getting that mobility, that movement in the lower part of the back, really allowing those lower vertebrae just to flex and extend and squeeze past each 
each other and gently kind of almost massaging those vertebral discs, so those discs which suck in the fluid to allow us to have nice smooth movement. Just giving them that little bit of a stretch, a little bit of movement, squashing them, warming it all up and letting that come to settle in the middle. So if it was a bowl of water, the water is now nice and stationary. Coming up, the ribs are directly over the hips. So left over left, right, right, obviously. Otherwise we'd be looking the wrong way. That would make no sense. So, <laughs> so having it really settled over the top. From here, coming up, standing towards the chest. The chest is open. Open out those shoulders, okay? Allow them to squeeze gently so the shoulder blades squeeze behind you. And coming up all the way through the spine. So imagine that weight on the bottom of your tailbone and that easing, pulling through the top of your head. If you had that ponytail on top of your head and someone's gently pulling up through. You see that in the circus sometimes, don't you? Ladies who are dangling by their hair, that big pulling action. So long, 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 lovely spine with those shoulders open and just brought down. So you've got this nice stretch down the side of the neck. Okay, we've got this nice neutral position, hands pointing forwards or in towards the legs. And just relaxing into it. I'm going to do our full and wide breathing. So if you'd like to join me, putting your fingertips across your ribcage. As you breathe in, feel the breath opening out the ribcage and the ribcage squeezing back in as you breathe out. So it's breathing into the thoracic area, into the ribcage, kind of towards the middle top of the back. Lovely. And from here, we'll think about our core contraction. So tonight, I'm going to imagine that hipster belt. So when I remind you to put in your hipster belt, this is what I mean. You've got 10 notches on your belt. Oh, need to breathe. Breathe in, and on your next full and wide breath in, breathe in and go to that 10th notch. So squeezing, there's tightening. You can feel it inside the creases of your thighs. And relax. And relax. Just have a breath to relax. And when you're ready, on your next full and wide breath in, breathe in, go to that fifth notch in the belt, so 50% contraction. It is possible to talk through this and work with this. Still quite tight though to hold for a prolonged period, okay? So breathe out and relax. And the next full and wide breath in. Breathe in and we'll go to the third notch in the belt. So it's just a gentle tightening. It's just making sure that everything's where it needs to be. You're holding that position. Gentle tightness here, you can draw up the pelvic floor gently inside you, and this really you can hold for a reasonable amount of time. You will build up to that time as well. If this is something you don't do frequently, you will build up, and it's all good. Okay, so we've got a neutral position, breathing is good, core contraction is on, and we're going to warm up those joints one by one. So let's go for that shoulder roll. Now, I'm conscious, it's always exciting whether I'm going to hit my cupboard behind. I think I'm good to go. You're just going to reach all the way up and wide. So you may really want to reach it wide. You may want to try and reach slightly behind. It depends on how your shoulders are feeling. It depends on your flexibility. And you may gradually build up as well. If you've been quite tense or hunched over today, or maybe carrying a lot, maybe carrying children, maybe carrying shopping, whatever you've been doing, or sitting at a desk, sitting at a table, you might just really need to focus on building this up, stretching, 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 still drawing those shoulder blades gently down the back. Okay, so rather than allowing the shoulders to creep up to the ears, just allowing them to reach down. There we go. Oh, fantastic. Lovely. And we're going to do some dumb weighted tonight. So coming back to our neutral position. You bring the elbows in towards your waist, your palms are pointing up as though you're holding onto a tray, still neutral on the lower body. And when you're ready, one at a time, I'm just going to encourage you to take the arm wide and in. And again, this will depend a lot on the mobility around your shoulder joint. So I'm feeling for myself tonight, and it's really interesting to feel how it is for you. I've uh, had this little niggly shoulder injury, so I can feel my right side is a little bit tighter than my left, and that's okay. I'm going to gradually, gradually build up and not push past the point of comfort. Okay, so squeeze, release, squeeze and release. Can we do them both together this time? So out and in. Try to keep the elbows roughly in towards the waist if we can. So rotating around the shoulder joint. Lovely. Okay, and 
left and go back to the one side and just release the elbow from the waist and let your feet come a little bit wider apart. I'm just going to take it around. You might want to now release that bend, that flex in the elbow and just allow the arms to swing. Just allow them to swing. So you're really getting that rotation, rotating through the spine. We've worked rotation through the shoulder. Now we're rotating through the spine. Also allowing a little bit of motion into the ankle and a little bit into the hips. A little bit of rotation into the hips as we're going. It's just really smooth and comfy and just relaxed. Fantastic. What's next? What's next? Oh, I remember. And release it there. We're going to bring our arms this time a little bit more rotation around the shoulders. I'm really getting some good uh, warmth into the shoulders now. So if you could bring your arms up so that you're kind of making a capital, I guess it's C if you look from above, a capital C, and you're just going to go up and down. So it's that rotation in this direction this time. Through the lower body is neutral, it's only this upper body in this case that's working for us. But we're really finding our range of motion in our shoulders tonight. I think kind of the upper back area can sometimes suffer, especially when we've been maybe in lockdown, maybe we've been really a bit more static than we might normally be. Maybe still getting out for walks and things, but perhaps not using our upper body in the same way we normally would. So just getting some nice movement in here tonight. Fantastic. Right. And we're going to really warm up through the spine now. I'm going to go side on so that you can see me because we're going to do some rolling up, rolling down. We'll just start very small. So still from that neutral position, just remind your shoulder blades, pull them down the back. And from here, breathe in, switch on the core as you breathe out, tilt the chin. And just gently, slowly peel the spine. Don't go too far, don't go too far. And coming back up. Really building this up nice and gradually. So you're going down through neutral. Just a little bit. If you wish to, at the top, purely optional, you could open up and maybe look up. So you have a little bit of extension as well going on in this move. Like the arcing we sometimes do. And if you wish to as well on the look up, by all means, go up onto your toes, really reach up and out. So maybe bring it up and reach up and bringing it down. And gradually building the size of this move up. Oh, creak. It's a bit of a worry, isn't it? There we go. So getting to maybe halfway down to where you might normally go. We're slowly building up. I think I'll be gentle now and pull her. What was going on? Very exciting. Oh, wonderful. And going down. Each time you're going through neutral. Fingertips gradually working down the leg. Back through neutral, peeling it down, peeling it down. Let's get down to three quarters. Down to three quarters. And each time you come back up, you are one by one layering those vertebrae up. I'm coming down nice and low now, so we'll do one more all the way down, all the way up. But really now getting towards the end of this range of motion. At your speed, okay? At your speed. So going down, going down, going down. And whenever you do, let's get to the bottom, get nice and low. So towards the end of your range of motion, if you need to break at the knees, to soften out that stretch in the hamstrings, by all means do so. Or you can have the legs reasonably straight, whichever works for you. But you're getting that nice stretch down the back of the body. Allow the head to hang, the shoulders to hang, the arms to hang. And just allowing the spine to relax, elongate, decompress. Okay, bringing it back up, bringing it back up. There we go. Now we're going to work. Ooh, back to neutral, lovely. Working now on warming up through the hips and the knees. We're just going to do some really simple knee lifts. If you remember Jane Fong from her workouts, they used to be a little bit more bouncy than this. But you get my gist. So she's bringing the knee up in front. Oh, I bet Jane Fong. Actually, where's Mr. Motivated one? He's a legend. Just bringing that knee up in front. So 
So it's the hip working, it's the hip flexor. And if you find you've got some real strength and mobility around the hips, you can bring the knee quite high. If you want to, you can grab onto the shin and just draw it up, draw it and allow it down, draw it up. It's not even the balance bit. You get an extra tonight, this is brilliant. <laughs> Fantastic. some calf stretching as well. So again, warming up the ankles with a little bit of movement. So going back to that neutral, I want you to take a big step back and just push the heel down to the ground and then bring it back in. So from the front, your feet are kind of going forwards and backwards along tram tracks, about hip distance apart, give or take. But each time you're allowing that heel to drop back. So you're feeling the stretch in the calf, okay? So the calf it's a lovely big stretch because you're going with a straight leg, pushing the heel down. And if you have a quick look at my body position, I'm gently just leaning forward, just enough, so that it's a straight line all the way down my body, okay? I'm not over leaning, I'm not kind of really going over. It's just a natural lean forwards as you go. Should we hold the next one? Let's hold it. Just hold it there. Oh, I'm holding. There we go. Hold it there. Hold it there. Push that heel down. Gently ease the body weight forwards through the front knee. So you're getting stretched down the calf at the back. So just gently, gently easing those hips almost forwards and down while you keep the back heel down. This is a worry for these balances. I'm going all over the place today. Make sure you don't watch me while we're doing it, okay? And switch sides, bring it in, push that foot back. So just ease into the ground. If you don't feel a stretch, just take your foot back a little bit more. If you're feeling that you can't get your heel down, you've gone too far, just bring it in an inch, okay? There is a kind of sweet spot that you'll find that will be different for everybody. It depends on your ankle flexibility, it depends on how mobile, kind of, you've warmed yourself up. So uh, don't panic, it may change, it may be different for you on a different day. This is just today's measurement. Wonderful. Nice, isn't it? It's a good one. Right. So we should feel mobile, warm. We've got a little bit of movement in all of our joints. And now it's time for the balance. Woo woo! You are excited just like me, and I've decided we're going to do some Warrior 3. And I think I'm going to fall over if I face my uh, mirror because I cannot concentrate when I'm watching myself doing it. So I'm gonna face this way today for a bit of a change. So we'll build it up, we'll build it up, we'll alternate build it up. So when you're ready, just like the calf stretch, you're just gonna take the leg back and bring it back in. Okay, so to start with, and this may be as far as you get in absolute honesty, you just take that foot back, maybe it's just the toes still touching the floor. If you feel okay with that, let's gradually just start to bring that back leg up. So we're aiming slowly, 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 but surely to get to kind of a T-shape with the body. So that the leg is down, but your arms are reaching all the way forwards, the leg's going all the way back. Okay, should we see if we can start getting towards that T now? Fantastic. Remember to look at that stationary point. Okay, are we about there? Should we hold on? Let's do it. Let's get the position, get the position. Get long, get strong. Don't worry if you're wobbling. Standing leg is soft. You're reaching, making yourself long. Keep holding, this is working, doing fantastic work on your glutes. Strength, balance, it's awesome. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Oh, way! Hey, that was a good one. We've got to do the other side. Oh, no, it's okay. Right, we're going to be straight for it though. You ready? Okay, reach, 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 reach. Lean forwards. Tilt, tilt, tilt. Leg goes back and up. Hold that position. Looking good. Ten, nine, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Awesome. One down. You know we've got one more to go, don't you? If you've been with me for a while, you know it. Okay, we're going to do it as a stretch there, which is really lovely. We're going to do some quad stretching. So I'll just make sure, do make sure you have nothing you can trip over. Okay, very important. Especially pets, children, all those things. Ban them, ban them from the area. Okay, when you're ready. Okay, we're going to do some gentle quad stretching. So if you can, reaching onto the shoelace area of your foot. We're just going to alternate and hold a couple of seconds. If you struggle with that, by all means, Grab onto the shin if you need to, back of the trousers, whatever you can get really. Okay, but if it's comfy for you, come into the position where your knees are kind of both pointing down and roughly together. Pushing the hips forwards, pushing the foot back. But again, we're just getting a stretch out of this as well. Okay, next one we're going to hold. Are you ready? Let's hold it. So get the position. If you'd like to, the arm can be down, the arm can be wide, the arm can be high. Some people like to hold onto the rear lobe. Your kind of central balance is inside your ear. It's all those fluids in there. So you might want to hold onto your ear or just have it by your side, by your hips, whatever, whatever. Just whatever works for you. But holding this position. Or if you need to grab onto a wall, by all means do so, okay? Now before you let it down, can you bring that knee in front? Bring it in front. Remember that standing move we were doing before? Can you hold that leg in front? So you might not get it that high, you might get it higher. You might get it kind of in front of the knee, so the knee's in front of the hip. You might be able to get the shin a little bit. Just hold. Standing knee still soft. Are you ready? Okay, and relax. We're gonna do the same on the other side. Give it a little bit of movement. Make sure the blood's flowing. When you're ready, okay, let's get that quad stretch first. So just holding it and then actually enjoying the stretch. Forget this is a balance, this is a stretch, okay? So knees together-ish and pointing down, hips gently easing forwards and level, foot pushing into the hand, holding onto that shoelace area. And you're getting this stretch all the way down the front of the thigh through these quad muscles. They work hard, they do work hard. Stick. And if you can, and if you're comfy to do so, bring that knee forwards. So still balancing, bring that knee up and holding it here. And as you can see, I'm wobbling all over the place. My ankle's doing a lot of work. A little bit into the knee as well. The knee is soft, but it's all these corrections which are teaching my body how to hold the balance. It's good. It's all good. Okay. Two, one. Woohoo! I applaud you, well done. Awesome. Okay, let's get down onto our mats nice and slowly though. So if you come to the front of your mat, as always, don't head up the wall, that's not a feature. Okay, so stay far enough away, get in your neutral position, and when you're ready, breathe in, switch on the core as you breathe out, just tilt the chin, and we're just going to roll down. We'll just go down in one, one go today because we've done some really nice rolling down. So just coming down nice and slowly. And when you're ready, when you're comfy, if you can come down to a lying position on your mat, however it's comfy for you, okay? Now, if you normally have a cushion behind your head uh, for your lying postures, that's fine. You can use that. I don't normally, so I'll just get all my bits and bobs away so you can definitely see me properly. But we're coming down to a lying position. Okay, and we're going to find our neutral to start with. So start with the feet together, heels out, toes out, feet, knees and hips all nicely aligned. And the feet flat on the floor, knees pointing up towards the ceiling. When you are ready, just tilt that pelvis. So we're going to go through both of the extremes. So you're pushing the lower back into the floor overarching the lower back to tilt that pelvis forwards. So as though you do have a pencil on the front of your pelvis, it is going between and over your feet and up and over your head. And 
gradually reducing the size of the move. I know we do it every week, but it's just so good. Just so good. Okay, we're coming to that neutral position, so small arch under the lower back. So the lower body is all nice and relaxed and neutral, allowing the body to be heavy on the floor. So the back of kind of the back of your chest is touching the floor, your head is touching the floor, it's all nice and heavy. The shoulders are relaxed and heavy, you're opening out the front of the chest, hands probably pointing upwards maybe in towards your legs. So we've got a wonderful neutral position. We're going to do some single leg stretches. So when you're ready, breathe in, switch on the core. As you breathe out, just allow one leg to stretch away. And to start with, you can just kind of drag it on the floor. So it's out and bring it in. We'll just do three before we switch sides. So taking it out and in. So I'm trying to keep these hips level, stabilize the lower part of the body. The core is engaged and we're building up. So as always, go to your level. So if you want to make this a little bit harder, you can rather than dragging the foot, just have it gently raised away from the floor. And we're switching roughly every three or so. Okay. I never make promises to be exact on such things, but roughly three. Okay. And if this is feeling quite comfy, you'd like to take it up a little bit, then when the next time it goes, the leg that remains, just imagine I've got that sheet of paper I'm trying to sneak out from under your foot. So you're almost lifting off the floor. And you feel that core contraction, you're still trying to hold this gap under the lower part of the spine. If at any point you lose that gap, so maybe it overarches, it gets too big, or maybe it just disappears and you flatten the back into the floor, go down the level. And you may find you can do one or two at a higher level, and then you need to switch it down, that's good, that's fine. And you may want to rejoin that higher level bit later after a little rest. If you need to rest at any point, by all means do so. Okay, so if you'd like to take this up a little bit, we back to our starting position. We'll go from tabletop, so both legs start up. Keep with the breathing, keep the control, relax. Just relax, okay? And you're going three each side. So one leg is stationary, one leg is moving. Lower part of the back, the arch is constant. It's a small, neutral arch. My core is firing. I'm in nobody's business right now. Hip flex is working hard. Okay, and if this is feeling good, you can add in the arms. So we go opposite arm and leg. Three times. This is a variation on what's called a dead bug, as I like to call it. And the other. And if you think about it, and you're familiar with your Pilates moves, if you turn this upside down, so my mat was underneath my knees and my arms, you've got that swimming. It's almost just flipping it over. Keep that control, breathe out to extend, in to come back. Blow that leg and arm away, breathing in. And I notice by really thinking then about my breathing, how it all slowed down. So we're going to do three more on each side, and then we're done. If you need to change the intensity, if you need a break at any point, take that break. Hip flex is firing, core is working hard. Shoulders relaxed and down the back, the shoulder blades, the shoulders themselves are working. Okay, we're good. Arms down when you're ready, one leg down. Two legs down. <sighs> Relax, <laughs> have a little hip flexor release. So bringing that knee back in, we've already done this standing tonight. But reiterating and repeating the move on the ground. Lovely. And switch sides. Bringing that down. We're just going to do a little bit of rotation, little body rotation, so some hip rolls. 
So take the feet slightly wider than hip distance, might be maybe at the edge of the mat, maybe just over the side of the mat, something like that. Okay, the arms are relaxed, you can have them out to the side, you can have the space, you can cactus arms them, or if you don't have the space, frankly, have them on your tummy. Whatever works, whatever works for you, but you're just going to allow the knees to roll side to side. So just going over, it's nice and slow and gradual, there is no rush through this move. But feeling that rotation in the lower part of the back, so I'm trying to keep both my shoulders fairly flat against the floor and relax down. And trying roughly to get the knees as close to the floor as you comfortably can. So the next time your knees are pointing towards me, just hold them there. And if you wish to get a little bit of an extra stretch, take this top leg over the top and in front of you. So keeping the back shoulder on the floor, this is a wonderful, lovely twisting stretch for the lower part of the spine. It feels absolutely wonderful. This is one of the ones I do every morning and it is so good. I'm a very, very firm believer actually that a little or nothing can make a big difference. So even if you have a couple of minutes in the morning, two or three minutes, just have a little stretch, a little bit of movement, maybe a little bit of pelvic tilting or rolling or hamstring stretching or whatever it is that your body needs, maybe it's shoulders or chest, you know your body. What is it that you could just spend a couple of minutes in the morning setting yourself up nicely for the day? Okay, take that leg back. So for me, that's a bit of a twist and a bit of a hamstring stretch. So let the legs flop over, and I'll try and avoid my cupboard. Oh, wonderful, oh, this is quite handy. If you have a cupboard, by all means, use it to get your foot over, that works really well. Unexpected use of furniture, but you never know, it's useful stuff. Just a really nice stretch. Okay, and release it there. Release, release, release. So bringing it back, bringing it back. And we're going to get back to our neutral position. So this time we're going to do some shoulder bridging. If you did have something like a cushion under your head, you can just get rid of that for me now so that your head's kind of flat onto the floor. This time, whilst we're starting in neutral, the feet are closer in towards the bottom. So maybe if you kind of reach down, you may be just about getting close to your heels or gently touching your heels. Just give your pelvis a little bit of a roll so you can remember where that neutral position was neutral will feel a little bit different when the feet are closer in, there we go, but still relaxing the upper body. So I'm going to start building this one up, we will, really will go for the pelvic tilts to start with, so breathe in, switch on the core, and should be that, just tilt the pelvis, and it's literally just a few vertebrae, and bring it back down, and I'm going to build it up, because I really want mobility to be a big strong focus tonight, stretching, just feeling fantastic. Actually building it up each time you are going back through that neutral so you're getting back to that neutral spine if you'd like to when you get to the bottom you don't have to rush it doesn't have to be super continuous if you don't want to get to the bottom get your neutral breathe in switch on your core and then start again you can have a few seconds to reset if that works for you if you prefer that more continuous movement then by all means stick with that if you're going for the continuous, do make sure every so often you are just checking in with your body, checking in that core contraction, checking into neutral at the bottom, and peeling. So it's that sensation of the spine rolling up, rolling down. Now let's just have a check in of what's actually working. So you get through your neutral, squeeze the glutes, tilt the pelvis, push the knees away, work through the heels. So it's the glutes that are firing here beautifully. And releasing on the way down. Temptation, especially if you're a cyclist. Um, if you're a cyclist, you get wonderfully strong hamstrings, these legs on the back, but possibly not so strong in the glutes. Temptation is to make the hamstrings do the work here. I'm focusing on the glutes. So that neutral squeeze, tilt, and keep squeezing. Okay, and I'm going to focus as well, have a little bit of extra calf interaction here. So next time you get to the top, going to the top, feel, 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 you'll get there, you'll get there, I promise. 
Okay, right. Hold this position, squeeze the glutes. When you're ready, I just want you to lift those heels and release three times. Lift and release and lift and release and then peel it back down. And my goodness, you should feel that. <laughs> so there's a lot going on. You've got the glutes going, you've got the calves going. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. You're going to have a beautiful lower body. Strong, strong, strong. The core is still working. Still that full of my breathing. So I'm quite relaxed in the upper body actually. But glutes fire and then the heels come up. Now, if you really would like to work particularly hard tonight on those calves, just try to do it with one leg. So just make sure, reset, make sure those heels are fairly close to the glutes and you're going to go up, 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 up. Right, let's have a go at this. This will be fun. Right, fire the glutes. I'm going to take the leg up and then go up and down. Two and three. And switch sides. Whoa, this is hard. One. Two, still working the glutes, hips level. Bring the legs down. Bring it down. Oh, that was good. That's good, let's have another go, that's fun. So squeeze and peel. Knees pushing away, knees easing away, pushing through the heels. Okay, in that top position. Okay, we come to one of the top, glutes are firing. When you're ready, leg out. Three, two, one. Relax this upper body. Three, two, one, and bring it down. And don't forget there is no pressure at any point to add on all these different bits. If you are happy with that pelvic tilting, crack on with your pelvic tilting, I'm good with that. So just get your neutral, then do it one more time, so getting into neutral, and we'll just roll up. It's always about finding the level that you want to be working at. So just have a quick check of your knees roughly align with each other or do you find that they flare in or flare out as you roll up or down aim to try and keep them roughly at the same distance if you can you can do it by holding a small ball between your knees that can help maybe just having a band around the outside if you have one of those resistance bands and relax relax Let's do a little glute stretch. So take the ankle across the opposite knee. Hold them behind that back leg. This may be enough for you. To be honest, this may be enough for you. Give it a little push, get the stretch there. Otherwise, bring that leg in. You may want to extend it up towards the ceiling. And just enjoy, feeling that stretch into the glute. Let's take it onto the other side. So you can hold it here, bring that leg in, grab behind, maybe extend up. For those of you that do enjoy a little hamster update, my hamster Snuffles is still doing well. We're a bit worried, he's only supposed to have an 18 month lifespan. I think he's at about 18 and a half months, so not quite sure how that works. However, he's doing well for now. We've had independent verification when his cage was being cleaned. He's still good. And release that down. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I've got to remember what we're doing. Oh, awesome, we haven't done this for a while. Right, grab onto one leg. We're gonna to come to a sitting position. So this, if you have one and you like to use it, this is your opportunity for your ball. Don't worry if you have a cushion or something, you can also use or frankly nothing, you don't necessarily need anything at all, but it can be quite nice if you do have one available. So do some rolling up. This starts in a seated neutral position. So sitting up nice and tall, ideally, sometimes I tell you with a seated neutral, it's easier if you're sitting on a block. For this particular move, it's a bit tricky to have a block in place, so don't. But you could, if you have a ball and you find it tricky, sit on the ball and just roll off the front, and you'll find that I'll just tilt your pelvis and tweak it over just slightly forwards. So seated neutral position, knees and hips and feet all aligned, as they always are, aren't they? They always are. Right. So sitting up tall, the spine is in a neutral position, shoulder blades drawn down the back. We're going to do some rolling down, rolling up. So from here, if you can, you want to, you can take this ball gently away, 
try not to fire it, okay? <laughs> if you want to, you can also just hang gently behind the legs. So breathe in, switch on the core, and as you breathe out, just tilt the pelvis under. So we're starting small, we're always starting small tonight. So you're tilting the pelvis under, coming back through to neutral. Tilting under. Now, if you've noticed, I've just put that ball just behind my back, far enough that I've almost got something to feel, but I've got to a position before I come back. You can choose, if you don't need to have support under the legs, by all means don't have it, that's fine. Now, I'm quite comfy with this. This is not too difficult for me to get back and up from. So, I'm just going to move that ball back a bit. If you don't have a ball, again, you don't need it. But I've got a new little reminder point. I'm just going to find out how that feels. So I'm being strong in this C-shaped position of the spine. Coming back through neutral, tilt the pelvis under, allowing it to roll down, and then coming back up. And this still feels fine for me. Maybe this is your limit. Maybe you've already gone past your limit. Maybe you stuck where you started, and that's fine. But this is still feeling good. So I'm actually going to get rid of my ball. Okay, which is why you didn't really necessarily need it. And you don't still need it. Even if you stick here, you know when you've hit your limit. Okay, but I'm going to try going a bit lower. I'm still coming back up, back to neutral. Now, you have the option if you to go all the way down. So you're rolling down, all the way down. And you can get to this neutral position if you wish to bring your arms over and then bring them back and peel the spine away. So it's almost like when you're rolling down and rolling up Sunday. So you're rolling down. Now, there's some options here as well with your legs. You may find it comfortable, as I've got at the moment, to have your legs slightly flexed. You may want to have your legs a little bit more flexed. Maybe like so. That may feel better to you, I don't mind. You may want to try it with them fully extended. So there's loads of choice here. And also, we can add in a little bit of movement. So if you get about halfway down, think about that bow and arrow move that we use. So draw the elbow back and behind, maybe sweep it down and around before you finish the move. Each time, you're getting your spine into neutral at the bottom, spine into neutral at the top. So if you're not going all the way, maybe you get to your position, do the bow and arrow here as your decision point. Do you go down, do you go up? Okay, I'm gonna go down. You may choose to go up. This is such a good strength move with the abdominals, the strength of the curved spine going up through to neutral. Okay, if you don't like the rotation, you could always do a slight arm lift. And our arm is still holding that position and then choosing down or up. The key is not to hitch on the way up. What do I mean here? So let me just show you. I'll just move my bum. I'm sliding all over the place. Right. Right. If I get here, I can't run like, oh, I'm stuck. And it's that, oh, that's hitching. Okay. So I want it smooth and controlled. If you do get to the bottom and you get stuck, but you'd like to go to the bottom, bring the knee up and just use it to help you, okay? So it's not necessarily the traditional Pilates way, but do you know what, it does the job. It does the job, and maybe it gives you just that little bit of extra support just to get you through that just little weak point that you want to get through, that hard bit for you. But if you would rather not go all the way down, that's all good too. So we've got a few different things going on. There is no particular speed here, whatever suits you. So maybe if you're working with that bow and arrow or with the arm lifts, taking it a bit slower, maybe you just prefer the straight rolling down and rolling up. And to be fair, maybe by now you're thinking, oh, I'm shattered, <laughs> I need rest. Okay, we'll just do one more, how about that? One more, so choose your weapon. Relax into neutral. Bring it back up. And into neutral. Awesome. Oh, isn't it? It's a good one though. Good one. We're actually going to go back down. 
onto our side. So if you want to, you can hold onto a lee as you go, give yourself a little bit of a rest on your abs, and let's stretch those abs out, okay? So nice and long, 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 long fingertips to toes. The abs get a really nice stretch, the back will arch more than it normally does, that's absolutely fine. Just stretching through the front of your body. Wonderful. We're going to actually have a hamstring stretch here as well because I promised you lots and lots of stretches. So if you happen to have that belt or resistance band or uh, dressing gown belt or towel that's just kind of rolled up, whatever, by all means use it. You don't even need it, okay? We're going to go for a hamstring stretch. You can hold behind the back of the leg, behind the thigh, behind the calf. I just quite like having a strap. So if you put it around, around the middle of your foot, the arch of your foot, Allow the other leg to extend away. So this will be really dependent. That might be enough of a stretch for you. You might be able to get it kind of above your hip. That's about as far as I can go. There'll be people who are getting it way over their head. Okay, so whatever suits you. Just getting that gentle stretch. The trick is keep this knee straight and keep the hips down. An easy way to keep the hips down is to lengthen the other leg down along the floor. But just feeling that lovely stretch. Now there's different kinds of stretches you can do. If you hold the stretch just for a few seconds, that's kind of considered a maintenance stretch. You're not going to improve your flexibility, but you will maintain it and it's a nice way to kind of finish out a move. We're going to have a little developmental stretch on the leg at the moment. So that's where we're aiming to slightly increase the range of movement of the joint. So you hold it, we've been holding it I guess even more than 15 seconds. When you're ready, breathe in. And as you breathe out, see if you can edge it just a smidge more. Mine just went a few, maybe a couple of centimetres more, that's quite good. But you're allowing your body to relax into the stretch, you're kind of bypassing its, its trickery to stop you over stretching yourself. So this is just easing that stretch, it's not bouncing it, it's just a gentle, gentle but you know, gently firm. Never through a point of discomfort though, okay? This just feels like a nice stretch. There's no discomfort, no twinges, nothing like that. Okay, we'll release that, let that come down. Switch sides, however you're doing that, okay. On the upper body, the benefit as well of the strap, um, if you have one or band, I just think it allows your upper body to be a little bit more relaxed in this position. Straightening that knee, the extended leg up. Okay, and we've had a nice stretch when you're ready to breathe in. And as you breathe out, can you ease it just a little bit more? Just a bit more. Hold it there and give it time to adjust and relax into this new position. Really enjoying that move. Okay, and release it there. Release, release, release. You don't need your band anymore. Get rid of that. Get rid of that, there we go. We're rolling over onto our sides. We're gonna go into a long side lying position. So um, I'll be lying on my arm. If it's more comfy for you to use a cushion or a head pad, by all means do so. But the ankles, knees and hips are stacked and gently easing that top hip away so there's a small gap under my waist, drawing the shoulder blades down. So try not to crunch the shoulder too much up. Making yourself long. Remember that drawing sensation Bottom of the tailbone to top of the spine, we're into a neutral spine, okay? So breathe in, switch on the core. As you breathe out, just flow that top leg up. And I'm just going to get you to draw some circles tonight. Now, as always, we've got options about our balance. My circles, by the way, are probably about the size of a football, maybe a small football. A quick look, that sounds about right to me. Okay, in terms of balance, you might want to have the hand in front. Okay, and this is one of those, try and remember to go in both directions. You're not going to be able to allow me to tell you, trust me, I forget all the time. 
to try and remember to switch maybe every five or six. For your balance, you might want your hand in front. Maybe you'd like to try it with a hand kind of along the thigh. And this is hopefully a really smooth move, so try and remove any jerkiness. It's easier said than done. Try and remove the jerkiness and try and keep those hips stacked. Remember to keep easing that top hip away, so you might want to just have your fingertips gently under your waist to remind you that you want that little gap under the waist, maybe in front or behind. And another option to test your balance maybe is to have the hand raised up towards the ceiling. So the foot is floppy, the calf is floppy, the arm is in whatever position you would like it to be in. To challenge your balance, to work with your balance, to hold the position, to help you have your hips stacked. And if you'd like to, just close your eyes for a couple of seconds. Just feel how this feels to you. Does it feel smooth? Could you make it any smoother? Does it feel balanced? Does it feel like your upper body is allowed to relax? Is your leg reduced, you know, no tension held in the leg? Is it nice and relaxed? Or are you just working really super hard, pointing your toes, maybe flexing your foot overly? Okay. I'm just doing five more in the other direction. You should be feeling it in the outer part of the thigh. A little bit maybe in towards the hip flex, but more into the outer part by holding these hips level. Okay, and relax. Nice. Feeling that one. Okay, just give it a little bit of a rubber pat in front. Fantastic. Okay. So, we're going to sit on our side, but we're going into that sideline position as though we've fallen off a chair. Knees, hips, ankles stacked. As always, push the top hip away, small gap under the waist. We're going for arm opening. I love arm opening, it's one of my faves. Draw those shoulder blades down the back, keep the spine nice and long when you're ready. Breathe in, switch on the core. So the hips, that hips to belt on, and as you breathe out, take the arm up. And I like to watch the arm position as it goes over. And bringing it back. So sweep it over. You may want to control the speed by matching it to your breathing. So personal preference, you can do it how you like, but I quite like to breathe out on the way up and in on the way down. So breathing out, breathe in. Out, come back, and in. Now, what do I want you to think about? Keep those hips stacked. This is a rotation through the thoracic spine, that spine involved behind the ribcage. You're trying to ease that top shoulder back, open out through the chest, get some flexibility through the front of the shoulder, and rotation through the spine. How about if you wish to, you can hold this one open. So it's up to you. You may be continuing to hold the move, movement, or you might just hold this stationary position. Just remember, top hip gently eased away. Enjoy this stretch. Maybe it allows you just to go one or two more millimetres for that back shoulder towards the floor. Taking it back when you're ready. Joining back in. Okay. I'm just going to get you to roll over onto your front. We're going to do a very quick, quick burst of push-ups. Okay, there's going to be 10, that's it, that's all I'm asking for you. So I want you to choose your position. We're going from a neutral, just get in that neutral position, knees under the hips, hands under the shoulders, but take them wider. I'm having a chest-based, chest-focused push-up. So taking them wider, Making sure you're screwing the shoulder blades down. You've got some choices here, I'll just show you. From your neutral position, so that small curve in the lower back, you could go from here, okay? If you wish to, lengthen down to the knees. Or if you're feeling it tonight, let's get a nice long push-up position. 
Okay, so making sure you've got a neutral position to start with if you need to just rock through the pelvis, but we're only gonna do 10. So have a go with me. Okay, getting, choosing your starting position. Breathe in, switch on the core, relax any muscles that you can that will still allow you to stay up and not fall on your face, that's not a feature. Okay, when you're ready, breathe in, switch on the core, as you breathe out, down. Press that ground away. And two. So nice and long through the spine. A neutral curve in the back. Doing four. If you need to rest out, by all means. If you want to put the knees down, go into a box position. Seven, I hope I'm counting this all right. It's a bit of a worry, isn't it? Eight. <laughs> I bet you're counting. Nine. And ten. Oh, lovely. Knees down, let's pop back into child's pose. So just short and sweet press up section there. Just that little strength first for the chest. Uh, some really nice movement. Now for the child's pose, just ease the hips back. And also, if it wasn't for you, and you could just have a cheeky little sit out while we did those 10 press ups. All good. If you need to, of course, at any point, if you need to grab a drink, grab a drink. drink. And from here, just coming back onto all fours, we're going to pop over onto the other side. Make sure my bottle of water doesn't get kicked over. So the first move was that side lying leg circle. So I didn't need my head pad for that, my cushion, maybe you do. Just get yourself nice and comfy in that long side lying position. Breathe in, switch on the core as you breathe out. Leg up, and we'll do some small circles. See, by sneaking those push-ups in, you almost didn't notice them, right? Is that how it works? I think that's how it works. So it's five in each direction. Remember, you've got some options with the arms. You can have the arm down along the leg. You could have it in front for the balance. You can have it raised. But trying to keep hips pointing up towards the ceiling, trying to keep that move smooth and controlled. Neutral curve in the spine, shoulder blades relaxed down the back. Spine is long. Remembering every five or so just to change direction. So working both sides, but it's really getting this outer part of the thigh. These nice little circles. About the size of a football. Foot's relaxed, calf's relaxed. I keep reminding myself, this kind of a fine with Pilates myself. You get into a, a move and you'll get, get kind of comfortable, you get in the zone and then you're like, oh, I've forgotten to relax this or I've forgotten to hold that. Core is still controlled. The spine is long. The foot and the calf are relaxed. The outer thigh is working nicely. Feels good. Wonderful. Should we just go for five more in the other direction? There we go, five more. And relax. Going for that arm opening. So if you do have your head cushion and you'd like to use it, pop it under your head. I'm going to ease myself a bit forward. So this is the uh, slightly trickier side of the gym here. Right, but getting that neutral position, turn the top hip away. And when you're ready, breathe in, switch on the core, and as you breathe out, lift. And follow that arm up and over. Just enjoying the stretch. Keep those hips stacked. But 
reaching over, can you go just a couple of minutes, millimetres further? Can you ease that shoulder blade back? In my random musings today, I was just thinking how grateful I am at the moment for all those people that do keep us going. There's all those key workers in hospitals, teachers, people in shops, and many, many things that I think are forgotten as well, and I'm sure I forget. So for those people as well, who just keep us going, all the bin men, all the wonderful people who are just keeping us ticking over. So just a little bit of gratitude there for uh, all those members of society who are doing their bit and all those people who are actually staying at home trying to keep everybody safe so whatever your role in this strange crazy time is thank you for doing whatever your role might be i think there's light at the end of this tunnel now you'd like to, we'll just hold it open just for a few seconds. on our way back up to standing. So roll over onto your back. If you bring your knees in towards your chest, or just rock side to side. Give your lower back a little bit of a massage, which feels lovely. Okay. Now let one leg go and use the other one to help you roll up. There we go, just made it. <laughs> and coming over onto all fours. Knees under hips, hands under shoulders, just a couple of rounds of cat and cow. We've not done very much stretching in this way with our back tonight. Let's sneak a couple in before we finish. Okay. And now tuck the toes under, push the body weight backwards straight through the legs and roll up through the spine. Wonderful. This one's a bit where you find out what your kit's done. Wonderful. <laughs> Good. Let's have a couple of nice big breaths in. Just one more. Fantastic. As always, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for taking part. Thank you for any comments I get, any little messages. I love them all. I love to hear from you and just hear how you're getting on. Um, sending you much happiness, peace, health this week and I look forward to our next little catch up together. Alright, have a fantastic week. See you, bye!